All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we are back home again, and uh, we are good to go as before. Uh, you know, uh, today we will be live on air. This is just a short video to say hello to everybody. I miss you really, all of you, and I want to say thank you for all those uh, who send me emails and, uh, uh, you know, keep uh, in touch, and I really love you, all of you. Uh, today we will be uh, live on air at 4.30 p.m. New York time. I hope my voice is clear coming from your side. Let me know, please, if there is any uh, problem from your side. Uh, and, and today, supposedly, we have Muslims who are desperate to debate me, and they will call me uh, right after we start our podcast today. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be interesting. There is a guy, he claimed that he is somehow a scholar or something. I don't know. Uh, however, uh, he is welcome. And, uh, you know, I never say no to anyone. I mean, uh, any Muslim, he can call me anytime he wants. You don't tell me the topic. I don't care. Don't, just come. You know, I'm not like those uh, fake uh, people who claim to have to know, but yet they want to prepare two months before that, uh, like before you tell them the topic and then they go and print the, 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 the answers from the Internet. Don't tell me the topic. Just come over and you are more than welcome. You are old. You are young. It doesn't matter. Just don't be a kid. Uh, so uh, this guy, he texts me a lot in Facebook and uh, I made it clear for him. Don't text me no more. Just call me. You claim, you know. You claim you have knowledge, we will see, you know, just call me. And today, supposedly, he will call in Skype. So please uh, inform your friends. And I hope today we will have a good time together. And it's going to be uh, for the benefit of everybody, uh, Christians and Muslims and Hindus and wh whoever would like to learn. Uh, you know, the purpose is not fighting. The purpose is uh, sharing the truth, and the truth will set you free. This is the wisdom of my Lord. This is not my wisdom and nothing better than the truth. Uh, you know, uh, always Muslims. If you see, if you see the post they post in YouTube, after each time I make a video, uh, you will see the name calling and the the, the funny things they say. Uh, like you know, the guy who keeps saying I got him. There is a guy actually. He called himself uh, Busting CB, Busting CP. But this guy, he don't dare to call. You know, call us, bust me. I want to. I want. I want to see how you can bust me. <laughs> they write. They write articles about me, and even they change their names to be busting CP. I mean, that's good. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Anyway, so I like to see as many as we can from the Muslims busting CB. Uh, if you can, I mean, uh, that's good for you. But until now, I don't see it happening, and your God Himself cannot do it. And today is going to be another example. I do not know even who is this person. I don't tell me, don't tell me your name. You can tell your name for sure in the on your call. But I mean, I don't care really how big, how, how small you are. I'm not going to say yes because you are big or because you are small. I say yes for the sake of the truth. And I believe that saving a soul of every Muslim, it doesn't matter who is he, you know, maybe he is 19 years old, and maybe he claimed to be a big sheikh. It doesn't matter, really. At the end of the day, Muslims are lost people, and they are worshipping false god, kissing a black stone, and yet they claim that we are the pagans. And, like, you ask yourself a very simple question, who is the one is kissing stones? And who is the one believed that in kissing stones, which is going to forgive your sin? Uh, but anyway, they have their own logic, and uh, their logic is funny. And Islam is a good comedy in the same time. This is why when we do live podcast, many of you, they enjoy it because it's funny. It is stupid. It is silly sometimes. It's mad. It's crazy. Uh, you know, Islam is a collection of unbelievable things. You know, uh, speaking from the adult, uh, uh, you know, uh, fiction of uh, long penis and big vagina and big ass, which nobody knows. Who, who can hate a big ass anyway? I mean, this Allah is amazing. All men, they like to have a big screen TV. And imagine if your wife, she have a one mile ass. I mean, that's a fantastic. So nobody can resist that temptation is coming from Allah. However, I find the temptation of Allah is very stupid. Because if you believe really that the wife is going to be one mile ass, I mean, you are a one mile ass of a brain. You are, you, 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 are, you are certified to be stupid. You know what I mean? You are certified to be a stupid, and uh, you know, like it looked like the God of Islam believe in the in the in the statement we see in commercials sometime in TV. It says size does matter. So uh, I would like to see the Muslims proving us wrong, 
and uh, I want to see those who claim to be intelligent and they have knowledge uh, giving us answers but uh, what I know Islam is a religion with no answers and even before you ask the questions no answers like this is why uh, you know there is a guy he was teaching about how Allah look so he was training the people is how not don't, don't question don't don't ask how don't ask why don't ask how don't ask why don't ask when so what is Islam is about it's about don't ask because the second you ask you leave Islam you will find it's a stupid it's just, it's even even you know I mean uh, uh, I don't know how small the brain of a human being can be but even for a person who have a very tiny smaller brain Islam does not make sense but Islam today became more of, of tradition and an ID for many because if they leave the society they will be killed uh, they will lose their money they will lose their property their wife they will uh, their, uh, the family of the five they fo fo follow uh, they, they chase him they force him to, to divorce if they did not even kill him and we know like even uh, like I saw in the news uh, Afghani uh, refugee in Germany I think he stabbed uh, uh, an Afghani girl who converted to Christianity he stabbed her I think 14 times something like this uh, uh, so if you ask yourself why this Afghani Muslim he stabbed that Afghani who was from his country just because she became a Christian that because Islam generate a lot of hate inside you but you do not know why I mean okay with this girl she wanna go to be Christian what's the problem isn't it God is God and he will send people to heaven and send people to hell what about your God he is the one who will do his judgment on her if she is bad or good why you need to kill her what kind of God he need me to go and after people and kill them in order for him to stable himself on earth what kind of God he cannot establish himself in earth without violence without enforcing himself is not it a choice no Islam do not believe in a choice Islam believe in destiny made by Allah but yet they wanna and when you choose not to believe to to go by Allah they kill you which means the destiny of Islam is is a, is a fiction of a stupidity using violence to enforce Islam on you now for sure we will not accept that you know we are people who believe in a freedom it doesn't matter if you are a Christian or a Hindu or a Jew or etc uh, uh, any religion will start forcing people to do what not to do uh, especially when it's like uh, 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 you know uh, simple belief. I mean uh, uh, like I want to eat uh, pork. Okay, you know, but what's my what's your business? <laughs> I mean he want to eat pork let him what if a person he want to eat poopoo? -poo? I mean what did the what, what's what's your problem? You know, uh, uh, you know I saw I saw Muslims in some Islamic countries They eat a lot of weird stuff like cockroaches, but pork is haram, you know And my last trip I saw a Muslim selling insects and one of the insect was in the table is, is cockroaches They are fried and they are supposed to according to him good you know he said to me he don't speak English he thought I am one of those uh, six terror uh, tourists sorry he said this is good for boom boom I said really the the cockroaches are good for boom boom <laughs> boom boom means sex <laughs> so good good you know this is good for boom boom but uh, pork is haram so we eat cockroaches but pork is haram and you know uh, I'm not going to discuss if it is haram or not this is your private belief uh, like somebody might say to me even the Old Testament it says we can explain to you why the Old Testament says that however this is not the topic the topic you should not force a practice on someone just because you think it is forbidden by God especially if it's about food like you know uh, if it's what forbidden by God to rape I agree with that because this is uh, a crime now this is not about food Somebody want to eat uh, shish kebab or want to eat falafel. So uh, 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 there is things which is forbidden by this God. It's nothing but a copy of other beliefs because Islam was trying to establish itself as a religion and Muhammad was so confused what to forbid, what not to forbid. So someone, sometime he allowed muta. And then people, they start making fun of him, says, look at this prophet. He claimed to be a prophet of God, but yet he allowed his followers to go in the elevator and ask a woman, hey, where are you going? Oh, the fifth floor? What about we have six in the th third floor and I pay you five bucks? You want to make some money? If she agree and I agree, this is halal. This is kind. This is the kind of a prophet we are talking about. And then when people, they start making fun of him, saying what kind of a prophet he allowed that, he said, no, it's it's forbidden. 
Then the Muslims complain, so he make it halal. Then the people they come, uh, they, they talk about him. Then he make it forbidden. Then the Muslim complain, he make it halal. I mean, what kind of a prophet? This prophet change the bent on the mood of people around him because his God is up to the request. He's a customer service. So I hope today we will have a good time with the Muslims together, and I encourage all the Muslims to call me live today at 4 30 p.m please inform everybody share the, the video with your friends this is just a video to tell you i am back i am home again i see this is my home i'm just kidding i wish <laughs> that would be beautiful actually to be living in the in the heart of the mountain and have a very nice view around you uh uh but you know uh wherever i go i notice that muslims are very uh, they are victims, you know. I don't, I don't hate Muslims. I will never hate them. Even sometimes they, 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 they do bad things. But trust me, they are victims of the stupid cult. They, uh, they've been deceived into. Uh, you know, I saw, I saw in Asia little girls. They are not even three years old. They are wearing hijab, and I said to myself, you know, look, look at this girl. She is a child, and now she, they are treating her as if she is a woman. And she, they are wearing her. You know, she is wearing socks. She's wearing long pant. And she is wearing hijab. I mean, why? Why you are wearing? What, what is that? You made her a sex object in this age. Why? Why she have to cover herself like this? I mean, what the point? Are you a bunch of animals? You cannot resist seeing a female to the point, even if a child she is two years old, you have to cover her. What kind of society the society is? This is this is scary. And I always I, I notice Islam make you turn to be a perverted man. Who like to have sex with the children is because you see, uh, uh, the prophet himself is is the best example of the society and the best example of the society. He like to have sex with the children. Today, actually, when I came in the airport, the customs they said to me, I, I don't think this is was really a reason, but uh, 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 you know, um, because you are Middle Eastern, always it's fishy, and because I'm an American, he cannot say he cannot discriminate me, but he have to make it about something else. So he said, if we scan your computer or your phone, we will not find uh, like a, a child pornography. I said, feel free, my friend, to, to, to scan my computer. But I know, I know, this is not his worry. It's about terrorism. But imagine if Muhammad came to the airport today with me, and they asked Muhammad, can we scan your computer? What Muhammad will do? Muhammad, he have a child with him who is having sex with her every day, not in the computer. He's going to be grabbing her from her hand in the front of the customs. So this is what we are talking about. They claim to be that this is a prophet from God, but yet he is a perverted to the point he is 54 years old and he is going after a child at the age of six years old, actually five years old. And even the Muslim, they say that he was thinking about her before that date. And they claim that God, he have wisdom on that. And what is the wisdom? Allah, he put with him a child so she can memorize things because the children, they memorize. Yeah, right. You know, this God, he used a child for sex. and But the purpose is noble, is to save and preserve the hadith of the prophet. Yeah, right. Anyway, madness, stupidity, crazy. And... Uh, we have uh, we have a person. His name is Marshall. He is saying to me, so to me, CP, st stop lying. I would like you to call me today live and let us see how you can get me busted lying. Guys, is that a good deal? The Muslims who they are saying stop lying. What about you call me today and you tell me what I am lying about and get me busted live on air? And the one who cannot do it is the potato, and that is you. It's a challenge. Today at 4.30, all Muslims are welcome. All Muhammadan are welcome. All the followers of the big penis giving God are welcome. Bring your God with you and let us see how he can make it grow that fast. Miracle grow. Thank you very much for being with us and see you again at 4.30 p.m. New York time. You can measure that in your... In your uh, 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 and you know, like in, co in convert time in your computer because each one of you uh, live in different locations, so I cannot uh, tell you like uh, one by one what time is going to be. So depending on your local time, please convert that time so you will know uh, how to be with us. And if you are watching this video from other channel, simply look for the Arabian Prophet. Uh, let me let me show you the Arabian Prophet. Here we go. This is the Arabian Prophet name. All right, let us zoom in. 
on the Arabian prophet here we go Arabian prophet and uh, you can go to patreon patreon.com uh, slash Christian Prince and you will find link for my uh, uh, my video you click in it simply you subscribe and uh, the live broadcast will appear in your screen uh, or notification be sure you turn your notification on so you can receive an invitation to to join us I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all and I really really miss you see you soon Christ is Lord Islam is false see you soon again bye bye